Hello, and welcome to Drawing Objects in Photoshop. My name is Mark Stowe, and I'm a longtime illustrator located here in Vancouver, Canada. I've spent many years working as a digital designer and illustrator for online and mobile industries, as well as for film and television shows. And I should mention that I'm also a longtime friend of Martin's. And when he asked me if I'd be interested in doing some tutorials for his company, I was more than just a little bit honored to be joining the ranks of some of the most highly respected instructors and professionals around. So over the years, I've worked on TV shows like Stargate and feature films like X-Men 2 and iRobot, to name a few of the bigger ones. And most recently, I've been working on a sci-fi series called Eureka. Now, when I'm working on illustrations for sci-fi shows, the majority of my work involves drawing set pieces, design concepts, and prop designs. Now, while this is a truly enjoyable and creative job, the pace, especially in television, where we only have one week to prep out an entire episode, can be extremely challenging. So over the years, I've developed a workflow and a number of quick tricks that I'm going to share with you that make drawing in Photoshop great. For the first portion of our lessons, I've selected four items that we will begin our drawing tutorials with. And later on, we will return to a couple of these items to demonstrate various texturing, lighting, and finishing techniques. Now there's also a few Photoshop files to be downloaded with this tutorial, so make sure you don't forget those. Some are meant as practice files, in case you don't finish all of your drawings at the beginning of our lessons. And the other is a PSD file that's full of different surface texture layers that can be used in the lessons or for your own future work. So hopefully when you're done working through the tutorials, you will have learned a few of the tips and tricks as to how to streamline your drawing process. And hopefully you'll have a strong enough grasp on the techniques I've shown you to draw any object you can think of. Thanks, and let's get started.